everybody, welcome back to Walt and Sarah. Today, we're gonna be making, we're gonna be copying Starbucks Snowman Cake Pops. What flavor are the cake pops? Ah. Uh, birthday cake. Nope. They're vanilla. Okay, first we got the French vanilla cake mix. Okay, now we got Kai. the vegetable oil. And then we got the egg lands best. Three large eggs. And then we got the white vanilla flavored chocolate. And sticks for our cake pops. Yeah, some sticks. And then we need some water. But we also are going to be using meringue powder for our royal icing. And that's what we're going to use to decorate our snowmen. Step one is to follow the instructions on the box. Do not change anything. You're going to mix your cake exactly as it says on the back. I am using a glass nine by 13 pan and I'm just spraying it with some nonstick Pam spray. Now while our cake is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and make our royal icing using this meringue powder, taking three tablespoons, then adding it to four cups of powdered sugar. Now you might see my mixer go a little fast, but that is because I am fast forwarding the video. I am doing this on slow at first because I don't want the powder to go all over the place, but then I will pick up the speed in real time just to hurry up and get it mixed together. Okay, so this is our royal icing, and now we're gonna be adding the colors into it, into little bowls at a time. Green for the little brother because he wants a green earmuff. Woo! We have blue, just like our Starbucks one. Black for his eyes and mouth. And we have this sunset yellow because it's the closest thing to orange that we have in the house. So right now I'm just dividing up our mixture into four. Then I'm going to mix in our colors. Put them in piping bags and then cut off really tiny tips. While I'm doing this, the cake is still cooking and then I'm only gonna let it cool for a few moments before I throw it into the mixer. It's going to be difficult to tell what shade I got this to because of the camera and the lighting and all that, but it really is your preference. When you are mixing your colors, you can stop adding dye once you see that it's the color or shade that you are trying to achieve. Now on our end, this actually looked pretty purple, but looking through the camera lens, it started to look gray, and then it finally got that black tinge that we were looking for, but it did look purple in person, which is definitely not what we wanted. We probably would have settled with the gray, but not purple. The orange also looked different in person. It was definitely darker, even from the beginning, it looked more like a creamsicle versus this yellow color that's appearing on the screen. And while all this is going down, I'm also, melting some of the white chocolate wafers on my stove, but you can use your microwave. Now that the cake is out, I did let it sit for about 10 minutes, but it is still very hot as you can see. And it doesn't necessarily have to be hot. I know some people recommend using it while it's still hot. I've had luck with both ways, but I'm just for time's sake throwing it in here while hot. And at first I'm going to mix up my cake crumbs until they're very tiny crumbly pieces. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons worth of buttercream. Now this is another thing I just whipped up really, really fast off camera, but you are more than welcome to use the stuff that comes into a jar. That's why I didn't feel the need to include it because most people will probably just use the jar stuff or make it on their own. Once again, the camera is being sped up here. My mixer isn't going that crazy. Once you see your mix become like a dough texture, similar to Play-Doh, that's when you know you've got the right consistency. Your end goal is to have it where you can pull out pieces, play with it, put it back in the bowl, and it still looks the same. We were looking around our cabinet trying to find something to give us that circle shape when we found this topper to the juice box things that the kids like. I honestly didn't expect it to work as good as it did. So the first one that I made, it was a little thin compared to the Starbucks cake pop. So we decided to try using it as more of like a stencil and working around it, but still using that lid 
to give us that circle base. Now off camera, I'm taking my stick, I'm dipping it into the melted chocolate, and then I'm placing it right into the center of my cake pop. Then I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so I can dip it completely into my chocolate. Next comes the fun part, we are going to decorate our cake pop. We are all finished. Our final snowman cake pops are dry. So we're gonna have you guys vote. Which one is better? Put an S in the comments for Starbucks or an M in the comments for Melody. All right guys, keep in mind also that ours are a peanut free option while Starbucks are not safe for our kids with peanut allergies, which is the reason we have to make our own cake pops. But guys, look how cute they turned out. Well, ours turned out so cute. Don't show the back. No. Mm -hmm. Such a simple treat to make, especially with Christmas coming up soon or any winter parties you may have. So don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know which one looks better. Now it's time for the taste test though. Ooh. You guys can't vote on the taste test, but Melody can. So let's take a big bite. All right. Starting with Starbucks first. Starbucks. Take a bite. Big bite. Mm -hmm. Show the inside. <laughs> this is, now according to their website, this is vanilla and it has some buttercream in it. With of course white chocolate. It looks a little different than usual, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Honestly, doesn't it look darker? Yeah. That's weird, okay. <laughs> well we got it from the mall Starbucks. This doesn't matter, they're all the same. Okay, all right, next. Next, our Ours. cake pop. Cake pop. I love cake pop. <laughs> this is cut. cut. All right, it's time to take a bite of our cake pop and see how it is. Mm. Taste test, show us. Mm. Look at the color of the inside. Ooh, just the color <laughs> and the texture. I think we won on that. Hold on, it's gotta focus. Which one, Mel? Which one tastes better? Be I'm honest. sorry, I'm sorry, Starbucks. I love you. Ours is better. Are it, you just saying that? No, or? I actually really like this oh, one. My feelings. <laughs> I really like I really like this one. I'm sorry, Starbucks. I'm sorry, Starbucks. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Starbucks. All right, Mel, honest opinion, which one tastes better? I'm sorry, <laughs> Starbucks. But I pick ours because, like, I don't know. Like, I just like it. Like, it's better than this. This kind of has, like, a different taste. Um, It doesn't really taste like it's vanilla. Like, this tastes, like, way more like vanilla. <laughs> I'm sorry, Starbucks, but ours is better. Maybe you can um, text us and... Try to get our recipe. We bye. just gave it to you. Watch this video and you can copy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.